Okay, so all my Iron Ridge racking system came in today. First of all, we have the rails. So these are 11 foot rails and I have eight of them. Looks pretty good. Okay, next I have four of the XR100 rail splices from Iron Ridge. We also have the Iron Ridge flash foot. There we go. Here it is. Looks like this. Almost with the L foot. Goes right on there. You got the little gasket, L foot, and the bolt that goes into the rafter. Everything's included. They even give you the little bolts that hook the L foot to the uh, rail. These all have the integrated grounding. Mm -hmm. Nice. Here we have the Iron Ridge UFO Universal Module Clamp with integrated grounding. Got a bunch of those. Here's the UFO stopper sleeve. These go on the ends of the rails. Okay. Some of those. And then we have the grounding lugs, two of them, since they have two sets of rails. Ridge end caps makes it look nice and clean. And these are just a couple packages of clips. You can hang wires up up under there, so they won't be on the roof. This is the galvanized roof flashing for the roof penetration. It's where the uh, PV wires will come through from the attic out onto the roof. These in. These are the Trojan L16 RE B. It's a 370 amp hour battery at 20 hour. Uh, they weigh 118 pounds each. So I've got eight of them, they're six volts each. I'll tie them together to make a 48 volt battery bank. This is gonna be the battery box. I think it's 65 inches long. Hopefully it'll fit everything in there. I was hoping to get it to fit two rows, but we'll see. Next up, we got the power vent. This is the 48 volt version. This is gonna vent the battery box. This is expensive. It's like $100 or something like that. So. That's what it looks like. Hopefully it works. All right, look what came in. It's the Solar World 345 watt panels. Woohoo! These things are big, probably pretty heavy. I have to look it up. I bet they're 40, 50 pounds each. This is my power plant sitting right here in the garage. You got to get this on the roof and start making money. So next we got the Midnight Solar Lightning Arresters. I got one of the 115s and two of the 300s. Let's take a look. There we go. The Midnight Solar 20 amp 300 volt breakers have one for each string of panels. This will go in the combiner box. Next I got the Midnight Solar 50 amp 300 volt. This will go in the power wall. This is this will be the input from the combined TV. Okay, and then this one, Midnight Solar 100 amp, uh, this is like a 100, 150 volt breaker, and this is the output from the charge controller to the batteries. So it'll probably be at about, you know, 50 some volts. Here we go. That's that stuff there. All right, so that's everything.